Let's go and try example number two. On example number two, we have f of x is equal to 3 times 2 thirds to the power of x plus 2 minus 4. First, we need to decide if this is going to be an exponential growth or decay. The value of b is 2 thirds bigger than 1 or less than 1. 2 thirds is less than 1, so this is going to be a decay. If we look at our graphs, this is less than 1, so it's going to decay. Do we need to flip it? No, we only need to flip it if that front number is negative. So your graph should look something like this. So let me go ahead and sketch it so I know what it looks like. Once I finish graphing it, I can double check to make sure that it looks something similar to what it's supposed to look like. Now, let's go and start graphing. First, I'm going to take part of it. I'm going to leave the h and the k behind. I'm going to take the basic part of the graph. So y is equal to, notice that f of x is the same thing as y. 3, 2 thirds to the x power. And you want to be able to, be able, you want to, be able to apply different points. So let's go and let x equal to 0, same as before. So be y is equal to 3, 2 thirds to the 0. So be y is equal to 3 times 1. 2 thirds to the 0 is 1. So y is equal to 3. So my next point, if x is 0, y is 3. That's my first point. For the next point, I'm going to let x equal to 1. It will be y is equal to 3, 2 thirds to the 1 power. 2 thirds to the 1 power is just 2 thirds, so 3, 2 over 3 to the 1. I'm going to place over 1 and multiply across, so it gives me 6 over 3, which is equal to 2. So my next point, if y is 1, x is 2, 1, 2. Now that I have both points, I want to be able to shift it. So shift, h and k, so this will be negative 2. And remember, the only thing that changes is your h. This is a positive, so that will be a negative. Your k stays the same. Now, most of you guys, I want to wanna start doing the following. We know that your asymptote gets shifted down 4. So I'll go down 4, and that'll be my asymptote. The equation is y is equal to negative 4. That's the equation for the asymptote. Now, this is negative 2, so I'm going to shift it to the left 2, and this is a negative, so I'm going to shift it down 4. So each point will be shifted left 2, 2, 4. Left 2, 2, 4. And then I can sketch my graph. It's getting closer and closer to the asymptote, but it's never touching. Let's continue with example number 3. Now, one of the things, before we, let's go back to example number 2. You want to be able to double check, once you finish, you want to double check that it looks what you supposed to look. So you want to be able to compare it. Okay, now let's continue with example number three. On example number three, we need to be able to graph the following exponential function. First thing, we need to decide if this is going to be an exponential growth or an exponential decay. So think about it and see. Exponential growth or an exponential decay. Correct. If the number inside, if the value will be is less than 1, it's a decay. So let's look at our graphs. Less than 1 is going to be a decay, but because the number on the front is, going, is negative, it's going to be flipped. So you look something like this. So let me go and sketch. 
and your graph will look something like this. Now let's go and graph the basic part, and this is a negative one. I'm going to go and graph, sketch the basic part. I'm going to leave the k, be the h behind. That'll be y is equal to negative three, one half to the x power. I'm going to let find different points. So I'm going to let x equal to zero. Just makes it much easier. Y is equal to negative three, one half. But instead of that, x will be a zero y is equal to negative 3 1 half to the 0 is just 1 so y is equal to negative 3 so my first point if x is 0 my corresponding y value is negative 3 so if x is 0 my corresponding y value is negative 3 let me find another point now I'm going to let x is equal to 1 y is equal to negative 3 one half, but instead of that, x will be a one. One half to the one is just one half. Place over one to multiply across. So it gives me negative three over two. Two goes into three once, and that's one left over. So my next point is one, comma, negative one and one half. So I'll be one, negative one and one half. Next, we need to be able to shift it. So shift, h and k. h, this is negative one, so there'll be one. There's no k here. Value of k will be zero. So that means that each point will be shifted to the right one, and then you'll stay there. So let's go and shift each point to the right one, to the right one. Or asymptote corresponds to this number. It doesn't get shifted up or down. So it just stays at zero. Now we can go and sketch it. Remember, it should also look something like this. Coming down from the bottom, getting closer and closer to the asymptote, but never touching. The equation for the asymptote is y is equal to zero. Remember, it corresponds to the k value, which is 0. Let's work on the next example. Example number 4. Grab the following exponential function. First, we need to decide if this is an exponential growth of decay. I'm going to look at this number. Is that bigger than 1 or less than 1? Correct. It's bigger than 1, so this is going to be an exponential growth. Now, because the number on the front is negative, you will have to get flipped. So, it will look something like this. Let's go make a little sketch. Now, we're going to graph the basic part. So, I'm going to take this part and graph it. y is equal to negative 2. 5 over 3 to the power of x. Notice that I left the k behind. Now I'm going to find different points. So let's go and let x to different values. I'm going to use 0 and 1 because it's the easiest ones to find. So y is equal to negative 2, 5 over 3, but instead of the x will be a 0. This is equal to 1, so y is equal to negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. So my first point, if the x value is 0, my corresponding y value is negative 2. So 0, negative 2 is here. I'm going to let x equal to 1. That will be y is equal to negative 2, 5 over 3. But instead of the x will be a 1. y is equal to negative 2. 5 thirds of the 1 is just 5 over 3. Plus the negative 2 over 1 to multiply across. So it gives me negative 10 over 3. This is an improper fraction. So 3 goes into 10 three times, and there's one left over. So my next x point, if x is 1, y is negative 3 and 1 third. So let's compile it. 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 3, and 1 third. 
negative one, negative two, negative three, and then one more third. Now, let's go and start with the asymptote. We know it's going to be two. And or shift, we're going to shift h and k. There's no h in here. Some of you guys are getting confused with that coefficient of one. No, there's no h in here, so it'll be zero, comma, two. That means that we're not going to shift it to the right or to the left. We're just going to move it up two. So each point will get moved up to. Each point will get moved up to. And now we can sketch over. The equation for this asymptote y is equal to 2. Remember, it corresponds to this number. It's crossing the y axis up 2. Example number 5. We have exponential growth in the K models. When a quantity in real life increases or decreases by its fixed percentage each year, or by each month, each hour, each quarter, the amount Y, so Y is going to be the answer, after T years, can be modeled by the following equation. R corresponds to the rate, A will be the initial amount, and T is the time. If it's increasing, we're going to have a plus in here. If it's decreasing, it will be a minus. Go ahead and read example A. See if you guys uh, take a minute to read it. Go ahead and pause it. Read it. Great. Now it says, in the last 10 years, we have an initial population of 44 deer in a state park, which grew by about 8% per year. Right model given the number of D of deer after T years. It's increasing, so we're going to use y is equal to a 1 plus r to the t power. And then we're going to substitute the information that they give us. y is equal to a is the initial amount, so we have 44 there. Then we have 1 plus r is the rate, it's 8%. So the rate is 8%. So we're going to write as a decimal. That'll be 0 0.08. And T is about how many years were in the park after five years. So T will be five. We're going to simplify it. 1 plus 0 0.08 will be 1.08 to the fifth power. Now from here, we just type into the calculator. And on the calculator, We are going to have 44 multiplied by 1.08 to the power of 5. And that will give you 64.65 or 65. So after 5 years, we're going to have about 65 deer. Go and read example letter B and see if you guys can write the equation and then plug in the information they give you. Go and pause it. A company buys a piece of machinery for $2,500. So this is the initial amount. The value of the machine decreases by 10%. Estimate the value after three years. It decreases, so we're going to use the one with the minus. Y is equal to A, 1 minus R to the T power. A is the initial amount, which is $2,500. 1 minus is decreasing, so we're going to minus. 10% we're going to write down as a decimal, and after three years. We're going to simplify what's inside the parentheses. 1 minus 0 0.10 is 0 0.90. And then we're just going to type into the calculator. It will be 2,500 times 0 0.90. 2 the power of 3. And that will give you the amount. After 3 years, the machinery will be valued at $1,822. So this will conclude our lesson for today. Uh, please email me if you have any questions, and have a great day.